Hi everyone. This is a little bit exciting today. We're going to create a headpiece after someone challenged me during one of my previous lives. And you know what? I've actually always wanted to do something like this. I went back through um, a lot of my sort of inspirational folders and found a lot of different uh, headpieces and ideas that I'd already saved, you know, over the last couple of years. And then I obviously went to Pinterest, my favorite place in the world, and found a ton of the most incredible headpieces. And then obviously the, the um, imagination starts to run wild with how am I gonna make that? It's never gonna look as good as that. So <laughs> I started to do a little bit more research around how it could be made and how we could make one and then obviously photograph it tomorrow to have lots and lots of fun with. So hi, if you're joining me, let me know where you're joining me from. And yeah, if you've got any comments or questions, pop them into the, the comment section there. Garrett's gonna read those out to me as we craft away. I do promise that this will not be as long as previous crafting sessions. <laughs> wow. I was a little bit more prepared um, <laughs> coming into this one because it is definitely something I've been wanting to create for a long time. So I'm gonna walk you through, obviously, um, you know, where I found my inspiration from and then talk a little bit about all the different things that I've used to make this. To start with, um, I obviously can't go out and about and buy a whole heap of different things. Plus, I want to make sure that I'm not going to spend copious amounts of money on something like this because I know that I'm not going to use it a lot. So I basically pulled my studio and my home apart to find as many different items as I that I could to create something that was unique. So let's start with the inspiration and then I'll talk you through those bits and pieces that I've found. So these were the two main styles or the main style that this, they're quite similar. Come on, I'm trying to get Garrett's this to gonna work. Bring those up. <laughs> Here we go. There we are. But these were the two sort of main pictures that I kept coming back to and thinking, oh my goodness, I would just love to create something quite like that, but put my own sort of spin on it as well. And then I had to start thinking about how am I going to photograph it? What am I going to, um, you know, use in terms of outfits and styling and all of that kind of stuff and have some form of storytelling element in it? Or do I just want to make it fun? I mean, it was sort of one of those ideas where you could really go anyway um, and have a lot of fun with it. The more I started to investigate, the more different types of headpieces I found. I originally said that I might use hair, which in the shoot tomorrow, I'm probably going to add some hair pieces. But when I looked at all of the big, beautiful headpieces that were made out of hair, yeah, that would have, yeah, I, I don't think that my crafting skills could have done anything like that justice <laughs> even with a hairdressing background maybe maybe more than three days preparation yeah <laughs> <laughs> probably something I'd need to spend three months on so I, I started to think a little bit more realistically about what I could possibly achieve what tools do I have and how could I potentially make something like this so I did my little bit of research um, I you know started to google how to make your own headpiece crown what sort of items would you need and having a look around my house and then obviously thinking about what I could purchase from the supermarket when I go to get my groceries, um, all of those sort of things. So what I found was in my husband's tool shed was these screws. And, you know, he does a lot of sort of handiwork and I loved the way that they were put together. Um, and then Garrett had this you know, idea that if I'm going to be using skewers, I could stick them through where the screws go. And that could help, oh, get it in the hole, Kelly. Um, that could help hold my skewers in place to create that beautiful fan shape. So that was where the idea for that came from. Obviously, I'm going to need a headband to create the space. I bought these for $3 at the supermarket. Um, I did buy two because I've put one together already. And so, $3 for that, this was laying around the house and with the one that I've already made, I just unscrewed the screws and then put the skewers in. So Garrett's gonna bring up here another photograph of how what it looked like when I did that with all of the pieces. There we go. So what I did was I measured 
um, the length of the headband with the screws and went all the way around and then obviously counted how many holes there were and, um, and, and in terms of how many skewers I would need. I then cut every second skewer shorter than, um, than the longer ones just to give it a bit of um, difference so it wasn't all the same length coming around. And you can see there I've used two pieces of sticky tape to keep it still so that the skewers were going to stay straight. So I laid the, the, um, the strip down, had it stuck to some tape, and then I put another piece down um, and then what I did was I just evenly spread the skewers as I stuck them to that top piece of tape to keep them even. And then I just ran my hot glue along the top and along the bottom over there and I turned it over and I did it again on the other side because I definitely don't want um, my headpiece to obviously fall apart but I also need it to be strong enough to hold all the the bits and pieces that I'm going to stick to it which we'll get to in a minute. Once that was made and it was dry I then put more hot glue around the top of the headband. I'll hold it over here so you can see the headband because it's black and I'm wearing a black top. <laughs> So I stuck with hot glue the, um, the skewers that were attached to my red strip all the way around the headpiece like that. Hang on, let me get it to okay, hold it properly so it doesn't come apart. You can sort of see the effect that it's got there with the screws still on it. Get it together. Oh, let's just do it down here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's how I stuck it to the headpiece. And then what I started to do, which will show you the next photograph, was place all of my little bits and pieces um, that I found around my house on, onto the sort of setup to have a look at the shape that I was going to create. So you can kind of see there, um, you know, I had some little red flowers, just spray painted those gold, and then all the little bits and pieces um, that I found in my costume jewellery that I've been collecting for 25 years. <laughs> you know, we all go through different fashion state stages and we buy different bits and pieces. So yeah, it's, it's been a little bit of fun kind of sourcing around the house all the different materials that I could potentially use for this. Um, when it comes to costume jewellery, I've got a few pieces here. So old necklaces with beads. Um, I don't wear a lot of jewellery, but a lot of people over the years have bought me jewellery, earrings and necklaces and things like that. So when I started to think about how I could decorate this headpiece, I, I went to that costume jewellery. Um, chains and lots of earrings like this with different sort of shapes. And yeah, but I collect a lot of stuff because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, this is a bigger piece of this that's down here and that was a necklace. So this was the big centerpiece and all the other bits came up and around the, uh, the neck there. So I thought they would actually add some really great sort of detail and shape. The roses obviously add that little bit of feminine touch. And these little um, fish looking pieces, they were actually part of this necklace as well. And then these as well. Then over the years, because I craft a lot with my kids and I make things for the studio, this came out of a toy box um, and a few little things like this that I'd purchased. If you've seen the video I did of my, my daughter and the photograph. Back a little bit. This one. Yeah. Um, where she's sitting, so sort of, suspended in air and she's got the there wings. Go. It's, it's quite a, a cool different piece. Um, but yeah, I would bought a lot of these little bits and pieces for that. So I have two big craft containers at home. So every time I buy different little things like, you know, sticky beads, I, I just, I store them inside these craft containers because you never know when you're going to come back and, and need them for different projects. So it's always cool to kind of keep everything and, um, and be able to use it later on. So I've got a set of earrings here and they were off another set of earrings and I'm just gonna, and that was another set of earrings here. So, and I just took the beads off with a bit of wire cutters. So I'm gonna kind of layer it together. I did buy a couple of things like I mentioned. Um, so from the supermarket, I bought my headband. I bought a packet of skewers, just um, kebab skewers. I'm not quite sure if they're called something else anywhere else, but they're just a, a wooden stick. And um, I bought two tins of spray paint, black and gold. 
I want to theme the entire shoot with black and gold. Uh, I already had those and I bought these. So that was pretty much it in terms of what I bought. Um, but yeah, this little packet of paper flowers just from the, the cheap shop that's next door to my supermarket, they cost me about $2 as well. So really, really small budget, not a lot um, in terms of expense. So another way if you, you know, you might not have this, this strip of screws like what I've got, but um, another way that you could do it, which I found a, a, a great sort of tutorial for, was zip, um, what do you call these? Zip ties. Zip ties. Um, I was going to call them zip tags. <laughs> but you can put a zip tie around a headband, and if you actually have a look on Pinterest and put in zip tie headpiece, you will be amazed at what comes up, honestly. I wanted to make one just out of zip ties, and I will eventually make another headpiece very different to the one I've made today, that I'm making today. Um, but yeah, if you put the zip ties on, get it nice and tight, then you can create your own headpiece that way with zip ties. Only thing is, they, they're not very strong, like the, the wood the wooden skewers. So if you start to then add bits and pieces to it, it's not going to hold that structure or that shape. So that's why I went with the skewers. And this just so happened to be something that we went, that's going to help make it even stronger and sturdier. So depending on the style of headpiece that you want to make, you've got to kind of take a few things like that into consideration. All right, so let's pop all this stuff to the side and I'm going to plug my hot glue gun in and we can start working on this, which is what I've put together already. Wow. So there's my headband underneath and I've got the skewers. You can see all that hot glue, but we're going to cover it. I spray painted it all black and then I came in and I did the tips of the skewers in gold. So you can see I've got the longer one, the shorter one, and it, and it alternates as it goes around. And then I just did the tips there. So if I hold it up beside my, let's put it on my head actually, Garrett. Okay. Can you see it on the background? Just. And you can you can really see the um, the the tips and the detail that it's added there, to kind of really make them a bit more than just a black yeah, stick. Yeah, you might you know, see the the tips on my shirt was the background. I'm not sure, Let but anyway, up close in. it looks really good. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so lots and lots. Of, oh, hold it around the right way, Kelly. Lots oh, that's better. That's better. I can see him now. Because I only sprayed one side. I'm very smart. <laughs> very, very smart. <laughs> that's amazing though. So that's the screw, the screw holder. Yep. Attached to the headband. Hot glued. Hot glue in, in the bottoms of it to hold it all in place and then just hot glue it onto the headband. Wow. Yeah. How I love effective it. is that? I'll zoom back out. I'm going to wear it to the supermarket. Oh, groceries. look at you. Okay, screenshot that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make it beautiful. <laughs> let's make some space. I was, I, the reason I did that part at home and I just wanted to show you how I did it here was because, you know, the spray paint has a lot of fumes in it and there's no way I'd be able to spray in the studio here. It was, I did it outside yesterday afternoon and obviously I wanted it to dry and I just didn't want to breathe in all the toxic fumes in my studio. We've got someone from the Czech Republic watching, someone from LA, someone was in Canada, I think. They're in a professional photographer's of Canada meeting. <laughs> Don't oh, tell no. anyone. Don't <laughs> tell anyone. I love that you guys are joining me from all over the world for this little bit of fun. Um, let's make some space here. And it is 2.40 a.m. in Germany right now. Oh my God. Well, Welcome thank you. And thank you. You can come back and watch later if you uh, can't stay awake. I will forgive you. Okay. <laughs> are we going to put offended. this video on YouTube? Yes, we are. Um, so all of these tutorials do end up in the free tutorials playlist on um, Kelly's channel. Uh, you can also find all the videos on in the files section, um, and there is a document that's been created there as well. All right. So I'm just going to pop down. Um, it's just a, a really cheap, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cutting board. Cutting board. Um, plastic cutting board because I've got my Stanley knife here if I need to do any cutting. But if I don't want the hot glue to drip through onto my, um, my table here. 
So, I've got another bit of card here. I'm just going to cut this little bit of black off and then because so my, my hot glue gun there, I can see it dripping. Just give it something to go on top of there. Alrighty. So when I thought about like you, what you saw before with the red flowers in, in terms of how I was going to place everything, um, these little flowers here, I, I want to kind of build it so it has that, that sort of height at the top and it comes up into a bit of a peak and then comes around. So I thought um, with the flowers here, I'm going to have to bring them down and stick them quite close in here. But I was going to sort of add a little bit of extra height up in here and then come around with the with the with the flowers down around the side there. So try not to make a big mess today with this hot glue. Yeah, right. You can always try, but it never happens with hot glue. No, it hot doesn't. Hot glue is, is the most amazing stuff in the world, but it gets messy. I also was thinking how, you know, I could create the the balance in terms of um, where I position everything. So I think I worked out there's um, 18, 18 long skewers. So when we think about counting out and putting everything in the right place there. I'm going to get these in here nice and close so it looks full. Oh, I can't wait to shoot with this tomorrow. Now I was going to be photographing my Georgia Brown, but unfortunately she is doing schoolwork. She has a class on at the time that we go live. So Mackenzie has actually volunteered to be a part of this, even though Georgie wanted to be. But um, Ken's is going to be our little model tomorrow. So she's very excited. And she's into all this really dark stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Who's watching us today? Okay, we have Anne in Scotland. It's 1.50 a.m. over oh there. Oh my gosh. My goodness. You guys are committed. Committed to crafting Thursday. Liliana from Elko. We've got Hi. 95 people watching in total. Crafting oh. day is always the most popular day, isn't it? It is. Everyone loves to craft. Yeah. Um, this morning, it's so it's obviously ten, just after ten thirty a.m. here. I've been in the studio for a couple of hours already. This morning, I had an eight a.m. Zoom call with Maureen from Graphy USA. So we had a little bit of a chat. We were meant to go live into the group, but the internet didn't want to play nicely at her end. So we did a recording, and then she's posted that interview into the Graphy Studios USA group. So I've got my top one there. I'm just going to come around and then I'll build it a little more there. Make sure I've got enough here. Good morning, Danielle Fisher. Hey, Dan. Okay. And oh, thank you, everyone, for all of your beautiful birthday wishes yesterday. That was so lovely. Deb posted that beautiful post and... It was a bit overwhelming, actually, reading everyone's beautiful comments and wishes. Thank you. Made my day. It's amazing how fast this like comes together. So you've gone from having a headband with sticks on it and adding a few spray-painted gold flowers. Yeah, the Just metallic... Just how amazing that looks. The metallic spray paint... Um, is beautiful. There's different, obviously different types of golds and things like that, but I didn't want it to be too shiny, obviously when I'm photographing it for reflective purposes, but I wanted it to have that sort of matte look. Yeah, we just cut the little stems off the, the roses and spray painted those. Even now on both sides there. Danielle feels that when we call everyone's names out, it's like being at school for roll call. <laughs> here, present. Deborah, you here? Olya, you here? <laughs> Dan, Susan Sawyer, late again. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. We do have our regulars though. Okay. One more. All right, so has gone through a little bit there, that hot glue. Look at that. Already just with the flowers. Wow. So you could have it quite simple if you wanted to and not add any other pieces and it would still be a gorgeous headpiece that you could have a lot of fun with. And so cheap. Um, but what I want to do, I'm just going to get rid of that last bit of hot glue there that's drying. Ah, I'm just going to show a close-up of the um, the screw gun holder thing. Oh, yep. So, yeah, if you... Okay, so this isn't necessarily something that everyone's going to have just laying around, but it's um, for a screw gun, so they're... On a, on a strip. I'll just hold it up here. I'll make sure that we can see it. Yeah, any That's hardware there. store, things like that. But in terms of um, putting this, if you didn't have, you know, you couldn't find something like that, what you could do is actually find something um, like a piece of foam, uh, a, like a uh, what's the type of foam that I'm, I'm thinking of? It's more of a, a like a three mil sort of foam, anything like that, or a, a piece of like thick material that you could put the skewer through to create a base like that. So all it is is just a piece of plastic strip with holes in it. So if you could find anything that you could put holes in it, what you'd have to do is just measure so for example these screws are about a centimeter i'm just double checking here with my ruler they're a centimeter apart so my skewers are a centimeter apart at the base and basically you could find anything that you could attach this the skewers to um, and before putting them on the headband because trying to attach it with head with with hot glue here it's going to be very hard to get them obviously even but straight. So what I would do is attach them to something that you could bend first, um, even a bit of tape, even just um, getting a piece of, that's actually, you've got tape there somewhere, haven't you, Garrett? Uh, do you want to get tape? Actually, that'd be really great. And I'll show you another way, because I think it's going to be important, because not everyone's going to be able to do this. Thank you so much. I'll just do it small piece. Okay, so it's very sticky. Get it off my, here we go. <laughs> so what you could do is, put a bit of tape down, come along and measure them, however you know far apart you want them to be at the same, same height. Maybe not have it as, as wide as this, but then sort of, you know, go over it a bit, a bit smaller and then that way they'll still fan out. So you'd probably only do it about that much, but just to help keep them in place. And um, you could, you could run a bit of, you could run a bit of glue along there and then you'd still be able to fan them along the edge of the, <laughs> my fingers are stuck the headband. Oh, thank you, Rob. Rob's just clarified exactly what that screw thing is. So it was leftovers from the last renovation. <laughs> um, screws used in a screw gun, uh, yeah, would be able to get them from a hardware store. Thank yeah, you. easy. So if you went, like, oops, let's cut your tape so it's about that wide and then you'd still be able to, to do it. Yeah, cool. But um, yeah, you could have anything laying around the house that you could put any like a, a, a skewer through and you would still be able to create the same results alrighty oh no the glue was melting onto the ends of my skewers there this is gonna hurt 
ouch. We don't want hot glue there. Okay, so now with all my bits and pieces, I've got this as my main little thing and I found these from a previous project we've been working on. I thought I'm gonna put those in there as eyes, which would be really cool. So they're just those little sort of stick on crystally diamante looking things. So I need to put those in the back of the eyes there, which is gonna look really cool. Oh wow. But I need to kind of build it up a bit first. So I've got these. And these are going to be my little features. I've got some crosses, which I'm going to add to there so it sort of adds a bit more shape to it, builds it up. And then I had these off a pair of earrings, so I'm going to add that to there. And they're going to go on the side, on the two sides, and then this one's going to go in the middle. So I'm going to make all these here before I attach them up there so it's a bit easier. Uh, what do we got here? We've got another set of earrings <laughs> and we've got another cross. So with this one here what I'm going to do is attach my little skulls to the top of the, the cross there and then attach these pieces here. Move it over a bit. kind of give it that bit of shape at the top as it kind of fans out. So that's kind of where I'm I'm trying to, to give it a bit of um, body, I suppose, and a bit more shape. And I'm just using bits and pieces and putting them together. And then what I was going to do is use these little things here, which are just little sticky pearls that I spray painted gold, and then just kind of add them to where jewellery was sort of stuck to it previously. So they've already got little sticky backs and I can come around and stick them on to those holes to fill them. Yeah, Teresa says it reminds her of Day of the Dead headpiece. Yeah. It is, yeah, it's that sort of... Oh, well, Halloween, Mackenzie and I um, love doing all the beautiful makeup and she's very adventurous, but the kids love getting dressed up. Well, they used to, they're a bit old now. But... Um, yeah, we, we've done a heap of crazy makeup, so we'll we'll definitely be doing something like that tomorrow for the shoot, for sure. Okay, so I need to stick these all together with my, my glue, but I want to put a little bit of black cardboard in behind the eyes here first, because these eye sockets are gonna be just a bit big there. If I put that, maybe to trim it a bit more. If I put that in there, because those eye sockets were a bit high, a bit big for my little crystals, then I'll be able to stick the crystals onto there and that should work perfectly. was the new gun I bought too. Do you just move that forward a little bit, Carol? This so one? We can, this way? Yeah, just your head's getting in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> tell me, oh, yeah, perfect. make sure you tell Thank me to you. get out of the way. Okay, Thank so my you. little... Let's go. My little black diamantes here. And so they're just like a little sticky, sticky yeah. diamante, aren't they? And they're, again, I do believe that I bought these from that cheap shop. And it's amazing what you can find that you might be able to use one day. I don't remember what I bought them for. It would have been an amazing idea, I'm sure. At the time. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, now look at that. But this is just plastic, this little skull thing here. And um, I got it in a little sort of sword 
thing. So like a little pirate set? Yeah, with a little patch. And hopefully they don't come off. All right, ready to rock and roll. I'll, I'll hold it up and you can zoom in so everyone can see. Is that okay, right? Let's change over to this camera. Oh, let's go to that one. Oh, this one here. There we go. Oh, wow. That's so cool. See your little eyes? It looks a little scary, but you know, we're having a little bit of fun here. Okay. So we'll start with gluing these pieces here together. So these are your little crosses yeah, going on to your earrings. Um, go, going on to the sides over here. So my skull's going to go in the middle and then over here on the sides, where are we? Here uh -huh. is where I'm going to put these two matching pieces. Ah, uh, cool. More earrings. Just watch your head, Kel. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to be hard for you to... Yeah, and, you know, I've got, you know, old eyesight. <laughs> I'm wondering if modelling clay would work for the base instead of the rubber piece. Hmm. Um, I reckon you could try anything. I suppose the, the good thing about it being plastic and using the hot glue is that it's flexible. Yeah. Um, and that's and it probably just allows the key, it to keep key on yeah. into it there is making it flexible. But yeah, I've just pulled seriously all of these bits and pieces here are all off old earrings that I've not worn in years and years and years. Okay. Look at that. And then here, to kind of get this to join up, I'm probably going to have to overlap it a little bit. going to stick it to obviously that and then this is going to come up and some of because these are earrings some of this is going to become quite heavy so and then I'm going to attach that there. Oh, wow so this might need a fair bit of glue in here because it's a bit hollow in the back there that's a great thing with the hot glue is that you can almost use it as a filler as you know it's structural it sticks and it's quick. Yes. So I've just got to be careful there that it doesn't stick to the background. The chopping board. So all these little flowers and fillers, they're all little things that I'm going to add um, as I've got my main pieces on, then they'll sort of be the last things that I add into it just to kind of give it a bit of... Um, a bit of fullness. Va va vum. Yeah. And now this bit here, this is probably the piece that I need to add before I put these bits here on. But I wanted to kind of just make these first so that they had a chance to dry. And that did really stuck there. Good job, Cal. I didn't think I put that much glue on that one, but obviously I did. <laughs> it's still stuck together. <laughs> okay, so that one's dry. And that one's dry. And then this one's almost dry. Okay. So here with this bit, and I've never made one of these before, so I'm kind of just winging it, it, really, because... <laughs> So, do you know what? Let's just see what happens. When I think about where I'm going to place this stuff, 
Yes, pawn shops and thrift stores would be the most amazing oh. place. Well, as soon as they reopen, <laughs> honestly, we... We, were, we were saying it yesterday that oh, if, if only the the Lifeline and the Vinnies around the corner were open. Yeah, we have two huge ones near us. Okay, so now I just kind of need to start having a look at where I'm going to piece these bits in here, and come in behind the flowers. And you know, I might not even need to put them in here, but I kind of want to give it just that bit, bit of extra height. I don't know. And it kind of just, I suppose, adds more Where's depth to it all. As There's well. my centre bit. So I could just sort of come in with these bits. Maybe I might not even use them. Let's have a look. And that's what it's sort of where I'm... What have we got? One, two, three. Or I could even go on that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there. that's a bit more balanced. Come up a bit higher. So if I go there with those, and now I'm sort of I've got that little bit of gap. So this is where I was going to use some of these to create that bit of height um, in between to help sort of give it a bit more shape there. looking so amazing maybe there and then that'll start to kind of create that bit of shape and we can put some more in there and then I've got all these little bits as well to kind of come in Just so I don't fun. need that big bit so now I know where I'm going to put that I think what I need to stick down first are these little circle bits I don't know where I was going to put it. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of push it in as much as I can there behind that. Yeah, that's right there. And then this one, I'll bring it there. How are we going, everyone? Everyone's going really, really well. Got any questions so far while I'm Okay. Doing? I missed the beginning, but I'm wondering if you could use a strip of cardboard, put multiple creases in it using the edge of a table to make the curve, then poke, poke holes through it. I reckon that'd work. Yeah, you yep. could try anything. And Wrap that's the, the thing, headband it's a little bit of trial ribbon. and error. Yep. Yeah, Most I've definitely. Sticky fingers here. Did you just move that forward a little, little bit towards I'm sorry. the camera? Cool Thank you. This? It just looks amazing. Like it's bits of plastic and old jewellery and wooden skewers. A little bit of leftover hardware supplies. <laughs> All painted gold. And it's making my fingers really sticky. You burning yet? Nope. Just look at that. Now, was I going to go here? I think, was I going to go on that one? Yeah, lots of people can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. This is going to be a really cool exciting. shoot. Okay, so... I want to get these on these small ones here. That what looks good. Probably need to do is build it up a bit. Over the top? Yeah, and then bring another piece in here. Because you've got those smaller curly curly ones there, don't you? Yeah. Hot. 
Yeah, I reckon the the best place to find supplies for this sort of stuff would definitely be a thrift shop. All that costume jewellery, that elaborate, over-the-top stuff that you look at and go, oh, really? Imagine a gorgeous maternity shoot with one of these. Oh, yeah. But just even your own kids. And you could come up with so many different ways to make it. That is not staying where I want it to. There we go. And it's amazing, like you've got the fabric from the flowers, or they paper, fabric, softness, and then, um, just move your head back there a little bit. I can't, just for a moment. Just for a moment, when just I one get moment, please, here. people. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to make sure that I got that in the right spot without burning myself. <laughs> oh, there we go. at all <laughs> but it's like the smallest little things it just makes such a big difference yeah, what oh, cool. done here? do I it's meant to go on that one maybe these will become a new trend and not the floral halos yeah but you wouldn't put this on a baby <laughs> <laughs> definitely not on a baby who said that we should use Karma Miranda as inspiration? Who? Using fruit and flowers. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. It'll be slightly off, but... This is kind of if Karma Miranda went to a Day of the Dead festival, I suppose. Do a bit of day that did makeup on Ken's for tomorrow. Okay, I'll hold it up so you can see. Okay. So far, I've got a little bit of hot glue going everywhere. All right, let me zoom out there. I've got to go back to where I think I need to hold it. Oh, your crosses, you've got one on a long one I and know, one on a short one. I know, but guess what? I couldn't get it on the other one. I thought about it. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Still looks amazing. I just needed the distance between them to be more Each balanced. Each one to be the same. As opposed to that. So it was more about oh, no. that shape there. But I'm okay with it being slightly off. I don't think it needs to be perfect, does it? Okay, so now I've got all my other little bits and pieces here. And what I was going to do was kind of, there are some of these are a bit stuck, just sort of come in and add them um, to help sort of build it up a bit. ones on the long ones. Yeah, Kaylee's in a grants. Day of the Dead makeup would make this piece next level. I once bought a beautiful print at an auction. Robert and I were at a dinner the AIPP and it was by this amazing artist from the United States, Julia Kazminko, and I loved it, fell in love with it. So Robert and I bid on it. I think we ended up, and the money was going to a charity, so that was pretty cool. And um, I, it's one of my favorite pictures, but it's a, a Day of the Dead themed portrait, and uh, it is just stunning. 
So how's that? I was probably very subconsciously inspired by that. <laughs> I suppose if you could get some touch-up paint, if you make any mistakes, whoopsie, that's falling off. Um, make any mistakes with stuff like this, you could just get some touch-up paint come in, touch up your blacks and your golds. Here's this, Teresa said, should you put another rose um, on one side to even it out? Oh, in here? see it uneven. There? Yeah, I know what she's saying. I haven't got any more big ones though. I used all my big ones. So it's slightly off, but we'll get some little ones in there to help build that up. And I are you think... thinking this will be shot straight on or? Well, on yeah, I've got a bit of an idea, but you're just going to have to tune in tomorrow to see it. Mm. What is that colour somebody has asked? Show again, I join late here, sorry. It's um, gold metallic. Yeah. Spray paint. So I'm lucky where my supermarket is, I've got a, it's got like a couple of other shops around it. So there was a hardware store, which was where I bought the paint, the spray paint. And someone said here you can also spray paint dry pasta to create different shapes oh, as well. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love that Kelly's idea. Kelly's brain's just started revving up the um, ideas <laughs> for the next one. Thank you very much. Oh, that's really hot. Well done. You didn't swear words. <laughs> How cool is that looking? I'm going to put the smaller flowers down here to finish it off. Oh no. And you know what? You're all probably sitting there going, oh, you should do this, you should do that. Do you know what you should be doing? Start thinking about what you're going to make. <laughs> yes. Because you're seeing something different and different things here that, you know, good Lord, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. It's going to be amazing. So Rob has asked here, any challenges for the coming weeks? No, Robert, just let me get through this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's gone down there. I need a... These are very small and hot. Oh, right. Casey and Rob are keeping um, tally of how many burns. Oh. Casey's going three. Rob thinks four. I probably won't have much skin on my thumbs after. <laughs> well, this is so intricate with all the little, little pieces that you're putting in there. Mm -hmm. And then I've got these bits here too, just to sort of add in to fill gaps. And I've got a couple more of these as well, but I want it to have that really full look. Oh, Shay is regretting throwing away her tacky 18 year old jewelry. I know. <laughs> And David's asked, will this be played back? Yes, all videos that we do in the group stay in the group. Um, if they're special enough, they do end up on YouTube as well. Um, but you can come back at any time and rewatch all of these. You can go to the file section. There's a document that's been created there. And if you're on your desktop, you'll be able to watch any of the videos from that actual document as well. Why won't they do that? Is that one not playing? Oh. Something to keep in mind that the paint, when the metal heats up from the hot glue, <laughs> it's very hot, but also the paint becomes a little sticky too. I 
Oh, you've got so many more little bits and pieces there. I know. It's just going to build and build and build. It's looking so good. Oh, David's just clarified when I mentioned special videos. All of her videos are special. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Okay. Um, I'll come around this way. Which ones did I unstick? There's one there too. So I've already started to think about how I'm going to light the photo and what other sort of elements I'm going to put into it, the outfit. I've got some really cool old pieces of clothing that I'm going to upcycle. I might even end up spray painting some of it. Oh, Anne suggested you should have used tweezers. I should have. I didn't bring them with me though. Oh, stay. Oh, and Diane commented straight after with the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> they would be working beautifully right now. You need those fancy ones with the bendy bit on the end that the chefs yes. use. Right, Oops. next eBay purchase, bended tweezers. to balance so they don't roll off as they're drying. Jess Preet says um, you've got magician's hands. Yeah, How easily know. you build. I'm trying not to... I think the biggest key of, of all of this sort of stuff is don't second guess yourself. Get in there and do it, and you'll surprise. You'd be surprised what you can actually create from. If it works, it oh, works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You're creating this from junk, basically, aren't you? Like it's yeah. all leftover bits and pieces, and a can of spray paint and a hot glue gun. Kelly's crafting days always consist of either a hot glue gun or pool noodles. <laughs> It's been great actually seeing everyone's pool noodle creations. Yeah, I have. And the loved the different it. the different things that people have come up with with it, and different techniques to use and that sort of thing. But all of these videos that Kelly does, this is inspiration. You go out and you know yeah, add to it and make. make more and build upon it and try different techniques. But give yourself permission to play. Uh, Kelly says that we have a huge, uh, a local costume jewellery store. Oh, wow. La Visa. Always have huge sales. Yes, they And do. they're online, so yes. Teresa, very, very true. One person's junk is another's treasure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I grew up with a lot of hand-me-downs, <laughs> as I'm sure many people did. David's smelling another WPPI winning image here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't tend to show people my award stuff before I enter it, so this is probably just me playing. Although if I really love it, then I really, might. Really, really love it. So Casey's building a star bowl, a twig bed, a crescent moon with my dad this weekend as my birthday present. Oh, well, happy oh, birthday. Oh, wow. happy birthday. That's exciting. So people, yeah, I, someone else shared a picture of a little wooden bed that's been made. They just got to stain it now. It was so cute. Uh, Macy Carr made her own wooden bed out of sticks and twigs. That was super sweet. Oh, get in there. Danielle stepped away for, for a few minutes and, oh my gosh, <laughs> this, wow. <laughs> 
It is amazing though how quickly it's all kind of come together. It's so neat. Okay. I want to continue down here now. I think I'm. I think I'm done with all my little. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just kind of coming in and filling some of these little little holes in here, here and there. Yeah. So Heather's asked, what's in the middle on top? That is a little skull. Yeah. From a pirate costume set, is that correct? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like three little skulls in a cluster. It's all plastic. But then, of course, you paint it the same as you paint all the other stuff, and it looks a bit more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> plastic paints a lot nicer, too. I'm just impressed how they, those cheap little flowers that you bought with a little bit of spray paint on them makes them a bit more... Oh, they're so beautiful. ...a bit more luxe. Getting in with the detail here, people. She will reveal it. Mm. Just filling holes right now. Kind of see the process going on in your head there. Okay, that spot there, need a little bit more here. I suppose the other thing too, you kind of got to balance it all out. Yeah. Heather's asked if there's any hot glue gun burns yet. Yes, there have been a few. So a lot of these pieces are metal, so they're heating up as well as the glue, so. I feel like I'm on MasterChef and I've got a time limit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at that from overhead. Wow. You move your yeah, head back a little. Look, there we it's go. It's getting so much bigger. Let me have a little look. Oh my gosh, should I put it on? Okay. We're not done yet and I'm almost finished. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Wow. Look at that. And I've got to continue the flowers. You can see how it's ending there. I've got to continue them down to the base here. Isn't that amazing? It's heavy. Yeah. It's not too heavy, but it's heavy. Don't look at the back. It's Again, you won't mind. Okay. So now it's all these little things. And then we're done. Yeah, these are just paper flowers. I thought they were so cute. I'll have to sit and pull all the little spider webs off from the the hot glue. Oh yeah, of course. But these are definitely not heating up.
kind of just wanted to continue up there with that little peak. And now I'm going to come down the sides here. My phone's ringing. Oh. Got any more questions? Uh, oh yes, it's definitely not for a newborn. This is for <laughs> a creative shoot I'm going to do with my daughter Mackenzie tomorrow live here. You would definitely not put spiky skewers on a newborn baby. Ah, would you let something hang from the middle to rest Ooh, on the forehead? I have something. You do have a couple of pieces there, don't you? Yeah, I have something at home that I'm actually going to make to go on the forehead. Um, I just thought we might not have time to sort of get through it today. But yeah, I'll bring that in tomorrow and it's just a bit of jewellery. Yeah, so the sticks that Kelly's used there are um, like kebab skewers. Um, so like meat skewers yeah meat skewers just wooden wooden sticks but right at the very beginning Kelly did show a technique where you could use um, zip, zip ties. ties as well and the the zip ties are just flexible though so you wouldn't be able to use it as part of the structure so Kelly's used um, the sticks on this and it's really holding well and showing yeah and I used a lot of hot glue to attach them to the headband so that they were nice and strong. I've got a little bit tricky here. I'm showing three angles at once and everyone's being able to see everything there now, which is nice. Ah, Shay's actually made one, so she did use zip ties for hers. Ah. <laughs> Your kids would have had the best Easter bonnet parades. Mine? Mm. Oh, Easter bonnets, no, but crazy hair days, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Easter bonnets just not creative enough, right? <laughs> I tell you, my kids, I was always very upset when my kids didn't win the book week parade. I used to put so much time and effort into it and my mum would always help as well. Okay, there's stuff going everywhere. So there's a few more little holes here I just want to fill up and then I'm done. But it's looking pretty cool. How many more of these have I got? We got seven. I need to put one here. One there. Do you know what would be even cooler is if I kind of on a few of them sort of came up as well and put a few sort of random ones up a bit higher there too. Oh, oh yes. I think I might stick with these three angles, Deborah. I think they're working quite well to show everything that we all need to see. Are you liking it? Yeah. Everyone's loving it. Looks amazing. One more there. 
just kind of filling holes here. But yeah, whoever put me up to this challenge, thank you. I'm loving Who, this one. That? I can't remember. Was it Maisie? No, she wants the maternity dress. Oh, she wants the maternity dress, yes. Which will come. Okay. I'm just loving the fact that this is bits and pieces from around the house. Like, really? So, out of all the stuff that you purchased, Kelly, about how much do you think this has oh, come to? Oh, probably about $25 max, because the spray paint's probably just that little bit more expensive. Yeah. And you look at that aerial shot there, and it looks like it's worth a lot more than $25. Yeah. <laughs> well, the costume jewellery as well, there's no expensive jewellery in here. Like... I'd be in trouble if I put expensive jewellery in here. So yeah, the diamonds are safe at home still, I'm guessing. Mm, diamonds? Yeah. <laughs> Not many of them. Not really the diamond type of girl. No. Robert, uh, Robert got lucky there. <laughs> we've, we've found ourselves in Kmart quite often, haven't we, Kelly? Yeah. Walking past the jewellery section. There's nothing wrong with that. Make Absolutely it work. Absolutely not. Oh, I'm just, this is, I'm putting these bits now over those little diamondy bits and building that up a bit oh, more. Oh, wow. No more, whoopsie daisies. Let's zoom in on that overhead shot a little bit. So just the amount of detail that's in there. Oh, I'm missing. Do you always do it is one two? <laughs> Have a little conversation with yourself there, Cal. Yep. Yeah. Adriana loves watching and listening to Kelly. It's so soothing. Oh. <laughs> I wish my children felt that way. <laughs> okay, so will the creative shoot with your daughter and the headpiece be shown live too? That's tomorrow. So there is a schedule um, that you can find in the group. And it's on the page as well, yeah. this week's schedule. Yeah, it's on the um, Kelly Brown Little Pieces Photography page. You can also find it on there. And we try and keep that up to date with all the upcoming lives so you know when to tune in. It's 10.30, Monday to Friday. Um, Brisbane each time. Each day, Brisbane time. All righty. Rolling that way. Okay. Ah, here's a good question. Thank you, Liz. Um, if you have a client requesting something special like this, do you charge for it or do you just do it? Uh, so, this is where I have creative shoot options with my pricing, and because I do quite a few of these sort of shoots now um, and people are becoming more aware of it so when they come to me uh, it's more of a you know this is what I'm interested in and then we go through that process so they can either incorporate incorporate it into a a normal shoot or they can come in for just a one-off type of shot yeah. which then takes ah that one's really hot <laughs> that takes a little bit more pre-planning and it's basically one 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 photo that yeah. they're hiring you for, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then we collaborate together over a period of time to come up with the idea and the concept, maybe a couple of weeks, depending on the schedule. Mm -hmm. And and then go from there. No, I don't think I need to want it. I'm very happy. Probably 
just in here. Maybe one more in there. Yeah, there we go. Just can't believe how well this is coming together. Like, I know you're talented and stuff, but this <laughs> is like neck level. <laughs> Oh, you should have some chilled water beside you. That's a good, good one. Do you want me to get you some? No, it's okay. <laughs> ah, I pulled the wrong one out. Oh, Susan Sawyer's made a statement here. Hi, Mum. <laughs> You're all very lucky that she doesn't swear when she burns her fingers. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. My mum knows me well. <laughs> okay. Oh, well done. Garrett burst a bloody cannon of glitter at my head the other day. <laughs> may have let a couple of choice words out. <laughs> I may have had to have bleeped for the um, promo video we were making. I apologised afterwards, but then continued to laugh. <laughs> so I'm just filling some little holes here with these little sticky ball things. Are they the little black crystal things? No, these are the gold ones. Ah. They were pearl sticky things that I've had. Yeah. And I just spray painted them gold. They come up really well. Ah, uh, yep. They're the ones that you buy on the sheet. Yeah, same just... as the black. Yep, yep. Cool. Just to make it a bit more finished here. Stuck to my finger. I suppose that's the hard thing. Do you think with this you could go too far? Like You could, but yeah, I just want it to look full. <laughs> it's just continuing to look better and better and better the more that you add to it. So like, when do you actually stop with something like this? It's cool. I think we're going to have to hang this in the um, hallway or something, this one. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm almost done. Tweezers would be perfect right about now. <laughs> I've got those little bended pliers there. Do you want those? No, it's okay. I'm nearly done. But if I'd had to put hot glue on the back of these? <laughs> yeah, different story, yes. Okay. And says, wow, you did good, Kelly Brown. Thank you. Last one, last one. Get it in there. Okay. I think, let me hold it up and have a quick look at it so I can see if I'm missing any bits. No, I think that's good. Okay. You loving it? Well, for my first go, yeah. <laughs> it is so neat. I'll put it on. Yeah, put it on. I'll crown, I'll be a queen for a day. <laughs> the, the hot glue at the back, <laughs> not pretty. Yeah, we all saw that. How amazing is that? 
And Kenzie's got dark hair, so it's going to look really cool. And it's pretty sturdy once it's on there. It's not going anywhere. It's not too heavy. That is amazing. And the, the light that we've got off to the side here is just catching on all of that gold. I'm going to zoom in a little, I think. This is worth a zoom. Let's see if it stays focused. <laughs> wow. How cool is that? Is it a bit bright? Yeah. I'm going to bring, bring I'm this down to look a little at my, bit. <laughs> I'm trying to look at my head in the TV. Let's bring that down. Wow. And just all the layering and the detail that you've got there. The reflections. A bit much for our little cameras, but that is so cool. Look at that. Okay, I'm done. You done? You finished? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mackenzie is going to feel very, very special wearing that. Oh, she's going to love it. <clears throat> I will be... I thought about the different types of um, lighting that I would use for tomorrow's live session for this particular shoot because obviously I've got a, a, a vision in mind there mm -hmm. if you want to do a, a bit of an over, overhead look at that while it's there. Um, yeah, well, I was trying to think of how I'm going to to set this up, how I'm going to photograph it and style it. Uh, gold, obviously, and black are my theme. Mm -hmm. But there's something else that I'm going to do with an extra light tomorrow, and it's a little... I'm going to create, like, a little bit of a halo type thing in behind Ken's, and it's going to be like it's an led light isn't it a strip like a led type of light the the little yeah uh, they're, they're anyway, a, you'll see it tomorrow. they're neon yeah yeah and um i'm gonna i'm gonna have that behind her so i thought about the different types of lighting that i could use to light her if i used strobe it would overpower the light that's going to be behind her because it's not overly bright mm. so I'm probably going to shoot this with continuous light um, and show you yeah how I can use light then to create a little bit of moodiness and and depth and uh, detail there it's going to be lots and lots of fun I've got an outfit already coming together to go with this piece and I'm going to do some pretty cool makeup as well yeah. so just to go over everything that you've used to create this this is a headband Yep, so here we go. I've got my little headband here. $3 from the supermarket. Skewers, packet of skewers is like a dollar. Um, timber skewers. And I did use the, um, the screw gun holders. It's just a plastic strip that you, like, you know, um, you use when you're using a screw gun. And I just unscrewed them and pushed the, the skewers through there which helped. Now, if you don't have something like this, you're going to need something that's flexible that you can put a hole in and put your skewer through. And that's going to help keep that nice and straight, obviously, when you're doing mm -hmm. it. Um, but yeah, at the beginning of this, I also shared some behind the scenes photos of how I kept the skewers nice and straight and in line while, while I was hot gluing them into place. But then it allowed me to curl that around once the skewers were in there and then attach it to the headband. To give it that perfect shape so i just had i just basically went through the entire studio um the warehouse my my home my garage at home where we collect a million things and my arts and crafts box so there's lots of pairs of jewelry in here i'm um, sorry earrings and bits and pieces of jewelry the round circle things this this is off a necklace and then we've got um, one set, one, two, three sets of earrings and then the other bits and pieces are just basically stuff I had in toy boxes and arts and crafts that I've brought together and spray painted it all gold. So all up cost me about 25 bucks and um, yeah, I love it. I can't wait for the shoot tomorrow. It's going to be So fun. it will be the same time as today started, 10.30. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked now. Getting sidetracked? You want to <laughs> you want to perfect this now, don't you? All right, you can. Um, thanks for joining me. This was a little bit of fun. Not as long as my other lives. 
but um, obviously a little bit more intricate in terms of getting all those bits and pieces attached there. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I hope you come and spend some time with me tomorrow. We are almost through our seventh week of going live here in the group. And if you missed it before, the videos from all of these lives are in the video section or under announcements. You can also find them on my YouTube channel. And basically the entire reason that I put these videos together it was, I know that it's been really tough for a lot of people right now. The last couple of months, what we've been going through has been something there is, you know, no way we could have ever imagined that it would happen to us or affect us. But it is affecting everyone and people all over the world. And I love the way that this community has come together to support each other. And what I wanted to do, because I was seeing a lot of uncertainty, I was seeing a lot of doubt and fear in people's posts and comments, so I created these videos because I wanted people to know that we will get through this and you don't have to sit back and do nothing right now. You can do something. You don't have to spend a fortune. You don't have to you know, leave your home. There are so many things that you could be working on right now. But the thing is, you have to know what it is that you want out of running a business. Um, even if you're just a hobbyist, know what it is that you want um, in your future and what you're working towards and why you're doing what you're doing right now and then you need to create a plan and start working on it because nothing is ever going to be handed to you on a silver platter and no one's going to do the work for you so I hope that these videos have motivated I hope that they've inspired you to keep going and, and get through this because we could have at many points said, you know what, I'm not going to do these anymore or I'm not going to, I, even in the beginning, I, I you know, could have chose to just stay at home and be in lockdown, but we can come to work each day and we can do this and Garrett and I have loved putting it together and sharing it with everybody here in the group. We, we know that it, it is obviously meaning a lot to a lot of people who tune in every day and we are grateful to every single one of you. So I want you to have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day or good night, wherever you are. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.